So if you've been struggling to figure out how to trade Bitcoin right now because of all this sideways action, I have a really good strategy for you that works really well. I've used it recently and it has yielded great results for me. So we're going to show this right now. First of all, Bitcoin has been trading sideways since about March of 2024. So it's been a number of months. It's always difficult to go long or just short on a stock, just straight up buying uh, you know, buying a short or just buying a long if it's going sideways. It's a little risky. Something like Bitcoin, I would veer towards the side of having it go long, right? Um, because if you were to short this, that's great. But what if you miss your sellout point and then it goes up? If you look at the long history of Bitcoin, generally so far it's been going up. So you don't really want to short it. Uh, with that said, so we're left with trying to trade this sideways market, right? So there's a couple things that you can do to drastically increase your profits and your probability of actual success. So I'm going to show that to you right now. So we have right here from Bitcoin's low, this support right here on this range is at about 54,000. Yeah, I would just say about 54,000. The height, and I'm including the wick here, so I'm going to be generous on this and an uh, other ticker I'm going to talk about is up to 70,382 and the difference there is about 30 percent nothing to uh, really complain about there's definitely some opportunities for some huge profits right there however if you were to play marathon holdings and play it a little differently than what you would traditionally normally do you can gain even better results so for one marathon holdings is going to to some degree or at least in the past it has reflected and traded very similar to how bitcoin has right so this support down here is at 1429 and the peak if you're including the wick goes up to 2755 with a difference of 92 percent so that right there gives you a lot more meat a lot more to work with and my experience with all these trading indic indicators and everything they can give you great entry points you never know when you're going to just lose all of your gains and it's going to go south or it's giving you an actual indicator to stay in for longer, right? So what I mean by that is indicators will give you a great entrance, but they don't always and they very rarely actually give you a great exit. And that is because most indicators are lagging. A lot of them repaint and those kinds of things, right? And by the time it's giving you an exit signal, you've already erased a lot of your gains. So there's uh, one thing you can do with that. If you don't want to trade this sideways and just go long and short, you can open what is called a credit spread. Now, a credit spread is something I'm not going to get too into detail in this video how to set it up and the inner workings of it. I encourage you to do your research on that and I'll create some more videos down the road about how exactly how to do that and what they mean. But essentially, you're opening it, opening a call and you're opening a put and you're taking advantage of that premium, that difference. What that allows you to do is to actually gain a profit even if the price stays about the same, which is great for sideways movement. Now, you can bet on the market to still go down or you can bet on the market to go up and so long as it goes in your favor you will get the max profit or even if it slightly goes basically flat you know slightly lower slightly higher depending on how you set up the credit spread you can still get that max gain now you are capping your your call with a put you're capping your put with a call so you're maxing out on what you actually can gain but you're also maxing out what you can lose and you're in you're minimizing your risk because you can go sideways um the stock can go sideways and you can still profit what i mean by that so what you would do is you would want to have your break even for example if the price gets down to you know let's say um 1625 there is some support right here or if the price gets down to 1467 you open a credit spread and so long as that chop comes back up 
you can sell out of it at any time. Now you have an expiration date on a credit spread, but if you're playing that lower end of that range, you're buying into the credit spread somewhere down here, or heck, even down here, right? Because you're gonna have time on your credit spread. There's an expiration date on options that you will get to pick. It's so long as it bounces up, don't wait on it. Like I said, indicators give our lagging indicators. They're often going to give you an exit signal when it's too late. Does that mean that you're going to miss out on a lot of run and a lot more profits? Yes, but there are different strategies on how to mitigate even that, and we'll get into that more in other videos. Um, so that's all I have for you now is to, to be creative on how you work these sort of things Think about a great strategy. If you really want to play Bitcoin, you really want to take advantage of Bitcoin's volatility, find something like Marathon Holdings, which is going to give you even more volatility, but follows Bitcoin. So you sort of have that security of Bitcoin. Another one is CleanSpark, CLSK. Uh, we've talked about both of these very often, right? So we're just going to draw up the sort of range right here. There is, whoops, I'm going to do a different one here. We're going to do this. There's a high amount of consolidation there. There's a high amount of consolidation there. So you can play this range. And then there's this top consolidation right here, which is going to be important to break through on the next bull run. And there is this, there's different levels of this consolidation, right? So the more you go down, the lower it goes down, the more likely it's going to come back up in the long run because it's kind of like a rubber band, right? The more you break through these, the more tension, the more pressure it is for the buyers. Um, of course, that could all collapse and sentiment could change, but we're talking about it in theory of this sideways movement, right? So that's all I got for you. That's Marathon Holdings. That's Bitcoin. If you like this content and you want to see more, hit the like button because it's the easiest way, easiest way to help out the channel. I'm just some guy on YouTube giving my opinion, just like every other financial stock YouTuber out there. So do your own research. But if you like this content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks.